collective flowers, flowers, flowers. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Mm -hmm. to my channel this is adana also known as the afro scene today we for the beautiful handsome collective hi collective hello flowers, flowers, flowers. don't forget to like share, subscribe hit that notification bell to book a private reading with me or to shop in my store all that information is in the description box below okay before i get into it yes i'm going there every day mm -hmm. did you guys get your copy of your book yet you still got time. You still got more than enough time. Mm -hmm. well, make sure you mosey your, your beautiful, handsome self on the way to Amazon.com, okay? And look for Ink and Emotions, a poetry journal. All right? Definitely get your copy. This book costs $12.99. And what's inside this book is chock full of different types of beautiful poems here that uplifts your spirits in a very positive way. Then there's some uh, reflection space here as to um, maybe what you've learned or any type of information or insight that you may have when reading this, reading um, the poem here. It also has a mental health daily tracker, self-care journal, okay? And it's also a daily reflection as well, too. So it's chock full of many different things in here um, that could definitely benefit your mind. So definitely make sure you get your copy on Amazon and that information will be in the community tab and also in the uh, the chat, okay? And also, yes, not, a, a, a big favor, uh-huh. If you are comfortable, you feel okay with um, sending me your, um, your purchase, basically like a picture, you like this um, side by side with the book or um if you don't want to be in a picture just taking a picture of it and say hey i received my book you know and using the hashtag the afro zen right and you can post it on your social media accounts i truly would appreciate that okay and I definitely um i'm excited for uh you know for you guys who are sending in your pictures and things of that nature and i'm gonna make a big collage and i'm gonna just put it in my office space so i'm excited for that all right i'm gonna go on a tangent all right <laughs> all right let's see what's going on i'm just excited you know <laughs> all right somebody could be having issues with thyroid i don't know anything about that i don't know if it's like I believe it's with salt or iodine. I'm not sure. And I feel it's coming out through stress. So if you're feeling stress, you may see more changes happening throughout your body, whatever that's for. All right, let's see. You got gas. life oh oh okay oh okay <laughs> somebody gonna get the gas chamber life in jail gas chamber what sentence to life gas chamber yeah wow and you won't believe what's on the other side so you you got gas you got goodbye and you got life lights is behind log you need log to light it light it with grass this is crazy like somebody asked is grass so this is a future read somebody playing super mario brothers two <laughs> on nintendo 
64, I believe. Somebody getting the gas chambers. Somebody, wow, okay, let's see. We have community. Yep, it's gonna play out in front of the community here. Someone is stuck. So this is a sentencing that they were receiving. They could be receiving it by the community or the community is stunned by this person's actions here. Yes, everyone is awakened to it. Everyone has knowledge of it. So with this card here, there's an eye in his hand. With also smoke. It was like a false fire that they created, but they had to take the eye out so that you couldn't see. They wanted you to see that the fire was elsewhere or more so the trouble was coming from somewhere else besides them. We can also look at the eye as that being a part of the third eye. There isn't the third eye in this, this in between his eyes here or her eyes, but they're holding it. The saying, there's a smoke, when there's smoke, there's a fire is very true, but this person has smoke, but there was no fire. There wasn't any fire. They don't even have a shirt on. They just have a tie and a blazer on. This person didn't want you to see them. They just cover up what they could quickly because why would you just wear a tie with just a blazer when this doesn't even look like a warm place. It looks very cold, very barren. So like they have to you know, bundle up just the color of the picture. It doesn't look too uh, welcoming. Another way I'm looking at this is that both hands are different. So one hand was doing something else while the other was doing another thing. It wasn't congruent. It wasn't connected. It was trying to scramble other people's perception here, which is why, because even with the smoke here, the hand is at the bottom. It's like it never wanted it to cross or cross wires or in a position where the eye can actually see the smoke. Hopefully that makes sense. It's like one is high and one is low. And if this was a little bit higher, just going by off the picture here, if this one was a little bit higher, you would have been able to see the smoke. But this person didn't want people to see what they were doing. It's like they rip your eyes out. Of course, this is metaphorically speaking. Yeah, look, vision. They didn't want people to know what they were. Or, that's bravery. I thought I saw vision. I'm sorry, y'all. I could have sworn that was vision. Bravery is in reverse. I'm so sorry, but that was a Freudian slip. <laughs> so with bravery here, yeah, they didn't. They weren't brave enough to do this publicly. They were brave enough to do it quietly behind the scenes. Hence the false, the, the false smoke, because everybody's looking in one direction and they're doing something in a different direction. And it blew up in your face big time. So there's a saying that I've heard that says, never let your left hand know what your right hand is doing. I understand it means, or from my perspective, from what I've learned from others, it means basically just don't tell people what you're up to. If that makes sense. Just kind of keep things quiet or keep your hands to yourself. In that kind of way, keep your your business to yourself. Your hands is your business, so you're keeping your business to yourself. Hopefully that makes sense. Um, 
I'll, I'll go a little deeper because you can use your hand as a form of as a form of a contractual way so when you're talking to someone and you shake hands it's a form of an agreement so we can put it in that way but anywho um they never expect this to, to end in a way that it ended here yeah they can't get out of this this is really bad yeah. everything has come to light everything about this person group of people like this is the series finale Not season finale. This is the series finale. Like when it's done, it's done. <laughs> when it's done, it's done. Yeah. Uh-huh. When it's done, it's done. And it's going to spread. Yeah. They put themselves there and they're sick. family that don't have any power mm, mm, mm. tell me more about the power in, re in reverse received the gift that they did not want or they received the gift that they wanted for you which was no power <laughs> they received the gift that they wanted for you which is no power <laughs> I gotta say it one more time <laughs> They put all their eggs into their basket, their nasty, slimy basket. That at the end of it all, the gift that they truly, truly wanted so much for you, they took it. They got it. And they can't handle it. <sighs> they can't handle it. <laughs> They can't handle the gift that they graciously wanted for you. They can't handle it. <laughs> That's crazy. How are you sending out negative energy, hate towards someone, and you can't stand your own hate? You can't stomach your own hate? Why not? But you think it's okay and it's right for other people to not only experience it, but to be forced into experiencing your pain, karmic. You got a fantastic gift, karmic, and you don't even want it. You don't even want the gift of yourself. That's crazy. Sit and think about that. Ponder on that for a minute. They don't want it. They don't even want the gift of self. They don't like themselves. Oh, I just ew, and, and yeah, yeah, and ha, and, yeah, and you ain't yeah, and you ain't that, and da da da. That's all them. They literally hurling everything how they feel within. They just hurling it out, and they're spewing all this hate, and they're spewing all this crazy stuff towards other people, and they think that's okay. Now they're getting the gift that they they wanted, the gift that they've been praying hard for. Why would you not think it won't come back to you? My bad. <laughs> Why would you not think, Karmic, that the gift that you graciously wanted for the collective would not come back to you? Why not? 
That I want to answer to. Mm, mm, mm. How are you repulsed by the gift of self? The gift of self is just like hardware. It's like Wi-Fi. You always have to update it. You have to update the RAM. You have to update the space, the data. And if you don't update it, what do you think is going to happen to that gift of self? It's going to deteriorate. It's going to self-destruct. It's going to malfunction. It's not going to work anymore. All these different negative things. How are you afraid of the gift of self? How? Make that make sense. It is your responsibility, every person here, both karmic and collective, it is solely your responsibility to take care of the gift, which is you, of self. I can't do it, they can't do it, no one else can do it, only you. Individually, you, only you can take care of the gift of self. And they got that gift right back and they can't handle it. Ah, goodness gracious. They can't handle themselves. Ain't that something? But yet they're they're out there bragging how they are a gift to the world. How when you won't even accept who you are, bruh? The gift of self. Come on, man. How you out here screaming, oh yeah, I'm the gift for this and I'm the gift for that. Oh, okay, yeah. But now you're finally being able to see the gift of self in the mirror right in front of your face. Things are being mirrored back to you and you can't handle the gift of self? That ain't making sense, man. <laughs> Contradiction. You see how people just <laughs> show off themselves? Because these are show-offs. They can't stay still. And you know people who don't have anything, I'm going there, people who don't have anything, no, eti no etiquette, no coof, no behavior, no manners, no respect, they're going to show themselves out. They're going to show off every time. Because that's how they feel that they should earn their respect. Or not even earn, demand their respect. is by acting a fool. They can't even control the gift of self. <laughs> They can't even update themselves. They're outdated and they're upset. And they try to stay dated. Not updated. They try to stay dated. Because the difference between you and them, collective, you're updating. You're elevating. You're evolving all the time. They're not. They're just dating. They're just in the same spot, same space. And they're seeing your Wi-Fi connection just keep going up, figuratively speaking, okay? They just see your Wi-Fi connection getting stronger and stronger and stronger. And you just, the more stronger your connection is, the weaker theirs become. Because they're not at your level. They don't have the same frequency or they don't have the same updated system as you do. Man. And they, can, they cannot, and this is why they cannot accept themselves, because they didn't do anything good for themselves. They didn't do anything great for themselves. They weren't willing to do what they needed to do to accept the gift of self. How are you afraid of yourself? How are you repulsed by self? How? <laughs> make it make sense. Somebody eating Korean beef. Bulgogi or something? What's it called? Bul Bul Bulgogi. B-U-L-G-O-G-I. Mm -hmm. See, the jackpot is you, collective. You are the sudden wealth, meaning you, your being. You are the sudden wealth. They didn't understand. They don't understand how that works. They're looking at things in the vanity point, from a vanity point, from a very shallow point and seen is believing. They had everything, or you had everything that they wanted within, but they kept chasing without, that makes sense, they kept chasing outwardly, outside of self. And have the nerve to call you trash. The whole time your treasures were within. 
treasures that they weren't able to get access to that was completely locked because you under divine protection. So you know the divine ain't gonna play about you. And they said all these crazy things about you because they could not see your diamond within. You were just a lump of coal to them. And they toss you to the side, child. Like it was nothing, all that shit ain't nothing. And you're finally in the right hand or you finally were placed in the right hand, which is the divine. <laughs> divine dust you off, brushed you off, looked at you. Yeah, okay, you fine. Got a little, you know, got a little dent here, a little, little cut here, a little bruise, but ain't, ain't nothing that can fix. And then divine to start to shine on you, shine on me. Now, you, now your diamond is bright. Now everyone can see you. Gift of self. People want to be things that they're not. And then get upset when they're called out on things that they're not. How are you going to get upset on something that you're not? You're not what that is. Or what it isn't. <laughs> How are you going to get upset? <laughs> child. Uh, they in despair, child. <laughs> Make it make sense. <laughs> God, we, I want some oohs and noodles. I'm not even going to hold you, but no, nah, I'm not going to do that. Mm -mm. Somebody could be eating that chicken and flakes. Somebody like chicken and beef. They're also the lime packet too. There's a lime one. So you might mix all three together or something. I'm here somebody making a chi-chi. So that, maybe that's where you learned it from. Okay, ain't no judgment here. All right, see, we got change. Yeah, they're in despair because their whole life has changed complete. <laughs> 360, 180, it's, it's, yeah, that's the message. It's like, yo, what, what, what? Like when this judge hit this gavel, boom, to the gas chamber, you go, they gonna be like, they knees gonna buckle, child. Mm, mm, mm. Oh, boo. They knees gonna buckle. Somebody's making Kool-Aid. No spirit. Yeah, they're in bad health because of it. <laughs> Time's up. <laughs> this is the series finale of all of this BS. This is crazy. Yeah, somebody get in the gas chamber. They going they going to make an example out of these out this group. That's crazy. It's it's going to be like blood wrenching, haunting. Like the most sickest words that you can think of that's these people. Just the way that they are. Demonic is an understatement. They're 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 beneath that. Hey, what else spirit? Yeah, they're very unfriendly to sum it up. <laughs> they're very unfriendly, but their action shows, especially with the contradictions. Because like I mentioned before, they're saying that they're all these things, but they, they're not even willing to accept themselves. So how are you going to accept something that you're not? You want to be something, but you refuse to practice it within. How is it going to resonate it outwardly then if you're not resonating with, within? Yeah, because it was all about greed. Growth is in reverse as to how they can, who can, who can get there the fastest. Again, life ain't no race. Why y'all keep trying to race through life? Like, why are you trying to race through, through life? Where's that going to get you? Let's talk about it. Where, where's racing through life going to get you? Take your time. You got all the time in the world. <laughs> Change. It's Michael listening to Tupac. Surrender. They have to surrender to change. Because of judgment. That they don't find funny anymore. Ain't that something? They don't find us funny anymore. Oh. Hmm. Interesting. Oh, well, um, failure. They know they failed. Some of them in denial which is making them very worried because it's like, 
Oh my God. Oh, I mean, you can't say you weren't warned. I mean, can't say you weren't warned. <laughs> I don't know. What, what do you want us to say? You can't say you weren't warned. You were warned. Don't do it. Don't do it. Look, justice came back out. You were, you were turned out to do it. No justice, no peace. Which, <laughs> don't do that. I wouldn't do it if I were you. I wouldn't do it if I were you. Y'all completely ignore. Oh, they ignore it. What they want us to do, you know? Shit. What they want us to do? Communication. Child, please. They want you to pray for them. Child, you know what? They want you to pray for them to get out of this. <laughs> These are the same people that put you. These are the same people that put you through mess. They want you to pray for them to get out of this. Ain't that some? The same gift that you had that they deemed demonic, they want to use it to their advantage. Why would you want to use a gift that's demonic? Why would you want the prayers of the collective if you think they're demonic or negative? Wouldn't that mean that if the collective were to pray, that's hypothetically, right? Because they said that the collective's negative, so let's just put it where it needs to be, right? Well, if they are saying, the karmics are saying that the collective is this negative, crazy, whatever person here, why would you want energy? Why would you want prayers from someone that's crazy or chaotic? I mean, wouldn't that be sent back to you if that makes sense? You see how people just don't truly, they don't think, people don't think. I feel like some people, or most people, are afraid to think. I do, and here's why. Because thinking requires, it truly requires you to change. And a lot of people don't like to think about changes because they're so a custom or they're so monotone or they're so stagnant in their complacency of life. However, that resonates. But people are afraid to think because if they think they have to do something different. And a lot of people don't want to do that for whatever reason. <laughs> but then complain when life is not doing, not they're not doing well in life. Well, are you doing things to change or shift the way you want to see life? No. Well, then how do you expect changes if you ain't doing enough? How are you going to be the best at something if you won't even give it a shot? And then quick to give up when you see a, a one time of fail. Oh, I failed. That's crazy. These are the type of people that's out there. They fail one time. Oh, I got to give up. It don't work. Oh, my God. It's so hard. It's so this and so that. If it was so easy, everybody would be doing that. And life would be so boring. True facts. They harshly misjudge you. And they paying for that with they true with they life, bruh. Gas chamber, that's wild. What y'all was doing to be getting to get stuff like that? That's wild. Gas chamber. When the last time you heard of somebody, you know, that's wild. What did you do to get to that point, that stage of your life that you end up there? That's crazy. They want help from you using your gifts, man. Your gifts. Connect it. Communication using the four clears. Your beautiful gifts from the divine that they said is demonic, that they say is crazy, that they say is negative. They want your prayers. Your beautiful energy, your beautiful aura that they said was negative. Why would you want help from someone that's deemed negative? Wouldn't that harm you or put you in harm's way? I mean, you said it, Carmen. 
It doesn't make sense. It doesn't make sense, man. They can't, and they, they can't, they can't take it. They can't take it. Interference and trigger. They are so triggered by all of this. Oh, well, I mean, as you should. You should have just let the collective alone and went about your day, went about your life. No, you thought that you was whatever you thought she was, I guess, Incredible Hulk, uh, Dragon Ball Z. I don't know, Pikachu. I, I don't know who you thought she was in the collective's life. I don't know. But whatever you thought it, it just was not it, boo. So manipulation's in reverse. I don't know what you thought you was, Carmen. And now you're being forced to surrender after you were warned many times to stop. <laughs> you were warned. And you got that wild card, which is spirits. They're like, oh, okay, you you still on you still on the collective? Okay, hold on. Wait, watch this real quick. Yep. Yeah. Sign a new contract to karma. Negative karma, that is. Somebody could be watching Beverly Hillbillies. Their way of tradition was getting people together to harm others. They're, that's their traditional way of living. And then living off of people's pain. They, they took great pleasure in, in, in seeing people in pain. Sad. Now you in pain, you want people to feel sorry for you? Uh-uh. <laughs> no. Well, at least you can get the 15 minutes of shame that you've been praying for, Carmen, because it's here. Now you getting it, boo. Sucks to be you. These cards are sticking. It's like, ah, what else is this, spirit? Guide these cards to flip out, boo. What's up? There we go. Uh-huh. I, I, I just I told you. Rusty, dusty, crusty family. Look at them. Look at them. They're just watching. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah, the offering that they sent recently was not accepted for the collective. It was accepted for them, and they got it. <laughs> this death energy, yeah, they <laughs> justice, yeah. Mm -hmm. Somebody could be working with Oshun to mess with your with your beauty, because Oshun is beauty. Oshun is she's also protection. She's fertility. Femininity. They're weird. Yeah, look, stability's in reverse. Mm -hmm. Could have been an emperor or emperor in reverse. See, he's an emperor on here, but it was in reverse. A man could be could have been doing that. Weird. Somebody got got hit. They got knocked real bad in their chest, spiritually. Somebody got the wind knocked out of them. Someone may be actually having issues with breathing, a karmic care. Yeah, we got channel here. Yeah, someone is aching. Their body is actually aching. They're in a lot of pain. They don't know how to mask the pain. Yeah, they're sad. They don't know how to mask the pain, the physical pain that they're feeling. Protections in reverse. They're scared because there's no movement. There's no love. There's no movement. Sucks to be them. Mm.
Somebody getting divorced. Could be from a Scorpio. So however that resonates. <laughs> and make sure you have a divorce party, okay? With some cake. You got work husband and wife. So it could be somebody from work. You could be divorcing somebody from work. Could be divorcing somebody that you work with in this. So somebody could be divorcing from a Scorpio or a Scorpio could be divorcing or disconnecting from someone that they work together. So it don't have to be an actual husband and wife either. It could be, but because the divorce is here. So it could be an actual husband and wife. That's one way. Or another way it could be that they work together um, to do this work could be against a Scorpio. It could be spun in many different ways, child. Somebody's leaving someone and they have to fend for themselves. Like all of this work that they did here, this spell work and dumb stuff, they have to... <laughs> They have to walk away and they're depressed. So it could be a Scorpio that's depressed. A low vibrational Scorpio. Yeah, see, praise in reverse. They can't pray themselves. Yeesh, they can't pray themselves out of this. Yeah, out of this hidden agenda that they had. It could be a fake emperor. So a low vibrational Scorpio. This is a Scorpio male. That had a hidden agenda, but is uh is trying to pray their sins away, but it's not working here. They could have worked with someone, they could have um could have been married. They're depressed. Wow, so they're getting the gas chamber? Sheesh. Well, they were born, so they have um anger issues. I'm hearing acute anger issues, so I don't know. Acute. Hmm, that's actually a thing. Intermittent explosive disorder is a mental health condition that causes people to have sudden intense episodes of anger and violent outbursts that are disproportionate to this to the situation. I didn't even know that was a thing. It that just came to me. Acute anger issues. They just explode. Yeah. Dang. Jeez. This person is in financial failure. They're not keeping the faith here. They don't have any self control. They have so much legal matters, so much legal matters. They're very toxic. Could be with a Leo, could be a Leo. So sick. Of this. I'm sick of this Leo. It is a low vibration Leo. I'm sick of them though. Okay, unable to express emotions. So however resonates so far, we just have Leo. We have Scorpio. Okay, so however resonates in your story here, someone is unable to express their emotions or a Leo could work with a Scorpio or Scorpio could work with a Leo. However it resonates here, um, they may have worked together here to do something towards you collective. Um, now they're in a lot of legal matters because of the toxic behavior that they decided to choose against you or to do towards you here and they're a financial failure too. A Taurus can also be involved. So you have Scorpio, Leo, Taurus. Could be on the Taurus, Scorpio, um, North Node, North Node, South Node, or the Nodes. Okay. So, mm-hmm. So you may have a, a family member that's a Taurus, a family member that's a Leo, or a family member that's a Scorpio, however it resonates, that was into a lot of illegal activities here with rival, thinking that you were a rival or trying to put you in a rival situation here with them, and you had a spiritual awakening, realizing that they were very unloyal. Hmm. Crazy. 
Yeah. Yeah, you found out their secrets. Now they need help getting out this, this gas chamber. <laughs> crazy. That's crazy how that card came out. Yeah, somebody got some really crazy impulses. Like you could be talking to them just regular and they just burst out and just like yelling or screaming. Ah! It's just like real. Oh. It's crazy. Like things are not what it seems. They feel set up. <laughs> They, yeah, they feel really, really set up. They feel really set up. So, you ain't got nothing to worry about because you didn't do anything, okay? They wanted to walk a mile in your shoe, and they couldn't even walk two steps in your shoe. They wanted to crumble your name. They wanted to dismantle your name, your reputation. They wanted to do everything possible to break you down, and they only ended up breaking down themselves, and they can't take it. Well, how is it that you can cook food for other people, but you can't even cook your, you can't even eat your own food that you cook? Make that make sense. You want me to try something or do something with you, but you won't even do that for yourself? So why should I put myself at risk if you won't even do that for yourself? Uh-uh. No, you tripping. Here, here, try this. Did you try it? No. Uh-uh. Well, if you ain't try it, why should I try it? No. Mm -mm. No. Somebody could be watching SVU. So new friends is in reverse. New friends. You may not want new friends. Or no new friends is what I'm hearing. Or they did not want you to have new friends. Okay, they didn't want you to have new friends because they wanted to use you. So they wanted to isolate you to use you. Yes but it never happened or it didn't happen in the way that they expected. So this person's temper, anger issues is really showing. It's like a raging bull. You ever got so angry that your head hurt? <laughs> like really, truly, like super angry that your head is like pounding. Like that's this person, their head is pounding. Cause they can't control their impulses. Oh, an orange butterfly. Yeah, they always running. running. They run away from themselves. They don't know how to control themselves. And it always put them in a pickle. <laughs> Could be a sun sign. That's the truth. Sun is Leo again. Lord, y'all. <sighs> They're not well. Sun could be a father. Sun is father. Moon is mother. So it's a masculine energy. Strong masculine fake emperor and emperor been coming out a lot through, uh, throughout this read yeah it's the end for them please keep in mind this is a collective read it's not going to resonate with everybody okay take what do and leave the rest know that I'm resonate that's okay okay take what resonates leave the rest yeah they're like they're like boys in men's body that's what they are could be an air sign uh, Gemini Libra Aquarius are seeing that things went too far or things were taken too far. They're included in that as well, too. Yeah, they, they are included because they worked. Uh-huh, they worked in that. So, yeah, they included in that, too. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. You don't you fresco carry you, but they ain't going to bring you back. I keep saying that, but not people. I don't know. They don't listen to something. I don't know. Yeah, look, child. That's a double air. Everything gonna be on paper. They could be on papers. Oh no, ain't nobody getting probation from this. A lot of people are going to serve hard jail time. At least 20 years minimum. I don't see no one doing less than 20 years minimum. There's drugs involved. <laughs> mm -mm. Yeah, they got God. Because people know... <laughs> People know. Somebody may not make it to their birthday. Next season is Leo. Yeah, long years. Mm -mm. Nope. It could be a water sign. Low vibrational water sign. Shy. 
They have no money. This person may have dogs. Sad. You do all that towards one person who didn't do nothing to you. And look, look how their life turned out. That's crazy. What greed would make people do? Because this was nothing but greed. And hate. They hate themselves so much. Look what they look look what they gave to themselves. They hated themselves so much. Look at what they gave themselves. And these are the people that talk about something they love themselves. But if you love yourself, you would know to refrain yourself from putting yourself in sticky situations if you love yourself. So you say, karmic. So does it really love? Do you understand the meaning love? Do you understand the definition of love? Because the way you portray yourself out here, that ain't love, boo. But it's okay. Who don't hear will feel. And they are definitely feeling. So a win's a win. Someone that could be Anna or An, Aaliyah. They didn't even attempt to try to change anything about themselves. But they say they love themselves. How do you love yourself but you're causing, causing chaos and hate towards other people? How? That doesn't make sense. That's a contradiction. You love people, but you, you, you hate people? Or you love yourself, but you out here terrorizing, hating people? That don't make sense. I love me. I love... Oh, okay. Right. They dumb. These people weird. <laughs> yeah, I swear, like, I, I cannot, I can't even too, but I don't get it. They just, they put their whole life on the line. Like, literally, a runaway train. Join crazy. And they end up with nothing. Now they're on the floor. Boo hoo. can't escape this man that's crazy that's, it don't pay to be mean it don't pay to hate either it don't pay to do any of that stuff that's the message of peace it don't pay to be hateful towards people just just you know if you don't like them that's cool because you ain't got like everybody that's fine but leave them alone i don't like that person okay that's cool leave them alone go about your day that is a-okay don't cause no harm to them. Don't touch them. Don't talk about them. Just go about your life. Okay, cool. I don't mess with that person. That's fine. Go about your day. Now look how life easy. They went their way. You went your way. You ain't no bad blade. You know what I mean? No, I want to keep coming for the collective. And keep coming and keep coming and keep coming. Oh, okay, well, with warnings. Okay, well, I mean, hey, message of guidance. They had plenty of warnings and they decided not to listen or take heed to the warnings. And again, who are we? Yeah, karmic message. Who are we to stop them? Hmm? Oh, okay. Let them go, boy. So I'm here in Carnegie, Carnegie Hall. Vicento, Vicente, V-I-N-C-E-N-T-E, -E, Vicente, Vincente. Um, mussels and spaghetti, so like a linguine, mussels and linguine or something like that. Clam sauce. Somebody eating beignets, and you could be making beignets. Somebody's making homemade homemade bread. It could be gluten free. Somebody's making, um, I guess, slime from Play Doh. So if you're outside gardening and you're getting in the dirt, make sure you wear gloves. You may have like an allergic reaction to the soil or something like that. Something's not right. I don't know, maybe a bug may have bit you, but I just see hands being swole. So use proper, proper precautions and wear gloves. Okay.
Somebody's getting their MBA. Congratulations. <laughs> you could be from Cary, North Carolina. I believe that's North Carolina. Your name could be Cray, Kari, Akari. Someone loves Buckardy. <laughs> you could be from Houston or you could be going to Houston, IAH Airport. Someone's name is Jean, Jenny, Janie. Someone's name is Tori, T-O-R-I. Someone's going for their, um, someone's teaching a, like a teen to drive. Um, someone's name is Ted Theodore. I'm here in Corridor. Someone's from Michigan. You could be mixing drinks. Just be careful with that. Someone's mixing brown and white. Be careful with that. Somebody could be watching old shows of Sons of Anarchy. Someone may call their mother Madre, or you can speak Spanish. Name could be Madeira, Madam, Madam. Someone could be mad, or yeah, they're, they are mad for sure. Okay. So my name is Troy, Trina, Trinity. Um, someone's last name could be Black. Let me do one more. So Mike could be from Boston. Boston. <laughs> Someone has to fumigate their home or their apartment. Someone loves to go shopping at Ross. Someone loves Target. Someone's name is Vi or Vivian. I'm hearing the Heimlich remover. Someone's a bum. <laughs> well, it is here. So somebody's a bum, 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 bum. I'm hearing Slocum, Sloan, S-L-O-C-U-M, Slocum, and then Sloan, S-L-O-A-N. I'm hearing a broker. So you could be using a broker for, for their services, okay? You're gonna hear about somebody being in the streets. It could be a Sagittarius or it could be by Sagittarius season here. Yeah, they're stuck. I was told to pull, pull some more. It could be in Aries as well. All right, so we have Sag, the Moon, Seventh House. We have Taurus, North Node, Fifth House. Pluto, third house, Aquarius. Eighth house, Cancer, North Node. Okay. Cancer, Libra, Pisces, uh, Gemini, Cancer, Taurus. Let's see two more. Leo. One more. Libra. Okay? So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Don't forget to get your copy of your new book here. Okay? All that information will be in the description box below, in the community chat, and also in the chat, um, in the premiere. All right? So if that resonates, please like, share, subscribe, hit that notification bell. Till next time.